result of the EP gene therapy, all six patients treated in this room began to recover from their illnesses. Dr. Sakara was able to live a more or less normal life. Normal as possible for a man who had developed an inhuman strength and the ability to breathe underwater. That's how he was able to elude capture. Mm. What was he running from? supposed to survive. Dr. Baruba's research was part of a top secret government project being run out of Los Alamos. All they were interested in was the technology, the science. To have a hybrid living out in the real world, made a liability. But what do you should need? Uh, emergency medical research. The man has a blood chemistry that is alien, very likely toxic. That story should hit the press. It was just easier to kill Dr. Sakir. Of course. There's only one problem. It was Dr. Barubu's old friend who was able to walk. There's just one thing I don't understand. Mm -hmm. What do you why think, you Princess? Why are you getting so much now? They anticipate the speedy precision of their cleanup operation, systematically destroying all the evidence. Dr. Barubu, the body is here. Without the evidence, you two have no case. Who would believe the story? As I told you, you must put together everything that you have found. And you must find Dr. Sakara before they do. Don't miss the lift. I'm going to get back to Georgetown and get all the lab work. I'm going to find Dr. Sakara. Where? I don't know. I'm going to trust my instincts. Here we go. No, you gotta watch. She's gonna do it. She was in a terrible car accident. You wanna watch anymore? Say hi. Good girl. Say hi. Oh. Say hi. That's close enough. Oh, big stretch. <laughs>